Hey everybody and welcome back to Blender. In this video we're going to look at optimizing our model with a view to animating it further down the line. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So we've got our model here and let's just assume that we've finished it. Obviously this one isn't actually finished, but you know, it's okay. And we need to optimize this because there are just simply too many faces. And if we were try to animate this now, it would seriously tax our system and probably never actually successfully animate. So what we need to do is we need to reduce the number of faces and there's multiple ways we can do this. Some are good, some are not so good. But well, let's talk about the best ones, the ones that we could probably make the most of. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is come out of sculpt mode or whichever mode it is that we happen to be using and go back into object mode so that we can select our object like that. And then what we can do is we've got our quad sphere here and what we're going to do is double click on that just so that we can rename this and we're just going to call it a weird head high res like so and then that way we know what this one is and in order to avoid potentially screwing up this model what we're going to do is with this one selected we're going to press shift and d and then what you can see is we've created a copy of that and we can just double click on this one and rename this one low res like that and then we can actually hide our original model so that we are just working with a potentially low res version of it now that we've got this model on its own, what we can do is if we go into wireframe mode, you can see that this mesh just has an insane amount of quads, vertices and lines in it. And as we said, the animating that is going to be an absolute nightmare. So what we need to do is we need to reduce the number of faces. And the first method that we can use is if we have our object selected and we come down into the modifiers tab. If we select modify in there and then search for generate remesh if we click on that and what you can see is there are different options here voxel is uh yeah you think you get the point if you see that it's it might be useful in some situations but for our more organic looking model it is just terrible sharp sharp does a slightly better job of keeping the model in one piece but as you can see all of the detail at the back end has been completely lost and even if we increase the depth there it still looks a bit naff but it's an improvement on voxel now if we were to go smooth we can see that it's a slight improvement it's still not perfect but it's a step in the right direction and then blocks is well that's just funky you know it gives you a whole minecraft kind of feel um i like the look but it's not ideal for what we want to do right now so we're just gonna delete this modifier and come back to our original model and try something else. One of the other modifiers that we can experiment with is Decimate, which if we select there, it's again, it's under Generate. And we've got different options here. First is the planar version. If you use planar, basically what it does is it looks for vertices that are parallel to each other within the angle limit specified. And you can see the face count there. So if I increase this, the face count does generally drop down but it doesn't take long before you start seeing weird artifacts over your model, which again, not ideal. If we go into unsubdivide, if we've got a mesh that we've originally subdivided, we can try and unsubdivide that mesh and it doesn't always work. So if we were to go down the number of iterations, you can see that actually our face count doesn't change at all. So in this case, we can't use that tool. Now the best option in the decimate modifier is the collapse option and what you can basically do is reduce the number of vertices by a ratio so as you can see we've got a ratio of 1 if we were to change that to 0 0.1 we're basically reducing the mesh resolution to 10% of what it is so you can see now we've gone down to 9242 meshes a lot less detailed than our previous mesh um, and overall it's not terrible there are some kind of weird artifacts around that we would have to clear up but overall the detail is still there 
we preserve, we've preserved the majority of it, we would just have to uh, fix some of these weird artifacts lying around and make sure that our textures compensate for the lack of fine detail in there. So again, if I were just to change that back to one, it just goes straight back. So it's, again, it's a modifier. It's not actually changing the mesh, the base mesh. It's just adding a modifier to it. Um, and a lot of people would be happy just by going to the 0.1 or whatever ratio they wanted to collapse it by and are finishing there but we do have other options available to us so we can get rid of collapse there and we'll have a look at the last option and the last option that's available to us is part of the tab group here on the right hand side it's the green triangle so if we click on that and we've actually got the remesh option inside this so if we click on that and we're just going to close down the vertex group one and the shape keys and what you can see is that we've still got the voxel option within here but we've also got a quad option and if we click on that we can click on a quadraflow remesh which is what we're going to do now there's a few options in here that we can play around with and i would encourage that you do so in your own time just have a play with all of these things there's nothing you can do with this that you can't undo again and then if you just hit OK, it's going to take a minute to think about it, dependent on the speed of your computer. And as you can see, what it's done now is it has really optimized our mesh to its bare minimum. There is a little bit of uh, detail loss that we can look at changing in the settings. But overall, this has taken the mesh down to its bare essentials, the bare minimum. And a lot of that detail we'll be able to put back in when we texture with bump maps and our obviously texture um, so again that is another way of achieving our goal and as you can see the the quads seem to follow the lines of the model as best they can and they're all four-sided quads which is obviously very useful as well it just makes uh, editing the geometry a lot easier and overall that's the best way that I can think of, of optimizing it or rather the best ways plural to optimize your models it is a challenge, there's no doubt about that. It can be very difficult, uh, when, particularly when you first get started on it. I'm still kind of learning about optimizing meshes myself, if I'm honest. So again, there is a lot of learning to do all, all around, but hopefully you found that video useful. Either way, let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you in the next video, guys. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye. <laughs>